Fame can strike fast, and when it does, it reveals what's really going on in any given person's soul. For athletes, fame comes with not only money, but ever-expanding purses as your skills and notoriety increase. When winning means money in the bank, it's easy to let something like that go to your head. Staying humble can be a real, potent challenge. Israel, the last style bender Adesanya, is the current UFC middleweight champion with a staggering record of 20-0. His career and rise in the UFC has been brief and explosive, and in merely two years he's won titles, felled warriors, become a millionaire, and made a name for himself around the world. Adesanya is now the face of brands and has money to burn, so how does a champion like him spend his money? Like, share, and subscribe to the Ultimate Fighting Network as we find out how Israel, the last style bender Adesanya, spends his millions. Despite a lengthy career as a kickboxer and mixed martial artist outside of the UFC, Adesanya's fortune has truly bloomed during his time in the organization. He began as many fighters do, with the typical purse of $50,000 for any given fight, with a further win bonus of $50,000 more. Not only did he win his first fight against Rob Wilkinson, but he also won a $50,000 bonus for performance of the night, as well as about $3,000 from his Reebok sponsorship. An impressive first fight purse. As Adesanya made his way up the rankings, his rates increased as well, about $3,000 per fight. Between these increases and a handful of performance of the night bonuses, he was pocketing over $150,000 for most of his early fights. Soon, Adesanya was charging a flat rate for his talents. When he fought Kelvin Gastelum for the interim middleweight championship, he had done away with win bonuses altogether and was making $350,000 per fight. In his championship defense against Paolo Costa, Adesanya's guaranteed purse was $600,000. Israel Adesanya has a great relationship with sponsors as well. Reebok currently pays him the typical champion rate of $40,000, and in September 2020, Adesanya became the first MMA fighter to ever sign with Puma, giving him his own apparel and shoe line and, though the figure is as yet undisclosed, a probable seven-figure payout. As Adesanya's star continues to rise and he fights more and more elite challengers, his earnings should reflect that rise, but currently, his estimated net worth sits around $2 million. So what does a champion like Adesanya spend all that money on? Israel Adesanya is a very creative person. He loves to dance and enjoys visual art, especially animation. At one time, Adesanya dreamed of becoming an animator, and he is famously a fan of anime, dropping references to his favorite characters in interviews, press conferences, and normal conversation. Because of his flair for the creative, Adesanya has admitted that he loves fashion and style and enjoys shopping for clothes to reflect his changing tastes. While his style is expensive, he doesn't get hung up on wearing an outfit only once. He likes to put the money he spends on clothes to good use. Your sneaker guy? A little bit. I'm not like a sneaker head. I don't, you know, geek out. But if I like something, I'll buy it. If it's expensive, if it's cheap. You have style, though. Yeah. You know, light work, light work. But right now, I have to go shopping today because I'm running out of shit. I don't mind repeating. I'm not one of these guys who like, oh, because people are like, oh, you already wore that. I know. I'm like, fuck out of here. I'm getting better at that, too. And I was like, dude, this is 500 bucks. I'm going to wear it 500 times. In his hometown of Auckland, New Zealand, Adesanya owns multiple properties, upwards of 19. Unlike many athletes who splurge on expensive things for the sake of it, Adesanya has other plans and goals beyond his MMA career and invests towards those future plans, including possibly branching out into entertainment, esports, and film production. This forward-thinking shrewdness is largely what's kept his feet on the ground as his fame has increased. One expensive toy that Adesanya couldn't resist, however, is the orange McLaren 720S Spider sports car that he reverently named Kurama after a character in the anime Naruto. Though he admits he's not a car guy, Adesanya fell in love with the car and has even brought it onto an episode of Top Gear to demonstrate its speed and abilities with a professional driver. Despite making his home in New Zealand where he's lived since the age of 10, Adesanya was born in Lagos, Nigeria and still has an indelible affection for his birthplace. Throughout 2020, Adesanya donated money and supplies to both Nigeria and New Zealand, attempting to do his part for the communities that raised him. Because of his love for both these places he calls home, it's likely that we shall continue to see the champion support causes he cares about in New Zealand and Nigeria and contribute to the success of young people who look to him for inspiration. Israel Adesanya is famous for his skill as a striker. He has a dancer's elegance in the octagon, an eye for his opponent's weaknesses, and a powerful stand-up ability left over from his time as a ferocious kickboxer. 
Most of all, Adesanya is deeply intelligent, the sort of fighter that everyone says is playing chess while the rest are playing checkers. Because of his career prior to the UFC, he's watched other fighters make their mistakes, both in the cage and outside of it, and he's willing to neatly sidestep and avoid each trap, learning from their examples. This is true not only of his fight strategy, but also in his business decisions and movements through fame. Adesanya is still young and still hungry. All things considered, if he puts his intelligence ahead of his fame, he has a long and successful career ahead of him in MMA and beyond. As he becomes a household name and his wealth increases exponentially, the struggle to stay humble will become the most important opponent he will face. Will the example of those who've gone before him continue to inspire and warn him? Will he be able to keep his feet on the ground and stay true to his roots? Or will he submit to the trap so many have fallen prey to before of believing his own hype? Or will he keep working as hard as ever to reach his goals? In LA, I flew all the way from Auckland. That's, that's a 10, 11 hour flight. And I came to LA for one day, did a gang of work, still trained, came to Houston, trained straight away as I got here, slept, woke up, trained, did some media, and I'm here again. And I'm about to fly straight away, right after this, go back home and keep training. I land at 6 a.m. and at 12 p.m. I have Spider, which is the hardest workout of the week. I'm going straight into that. That's why I'm going to be the next cash cow of the UFC, because I work. He says he only, he, I don't talk, I don't talk, I just do. Get you a man that can do both. What do you think about Israel Adesanya? Comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the Ultimate Fighting Network.